James Crazy. That's me! I gotta be honest with you guys, I completely forgot that existed. So, hi everybody, welcome back to James Plays Riven. We got ourselves a lead on what to do next and where to go next. Kind of had to go a bit further into the Universal Hint system than I had hoped for that. But I think we can get to that destination from here. Yeah, the way it's laid out, it's by island, and that kind of requires me to know that there are, you know, the what the names are of the different places I'm going. So we start on Dome Island, and then there's the Workshop Island, and apparently a map island that I haven't been to yet. So I just started with the first island, and I saw the thing about the grid puzzle, and that led back to, oh, you go to Map Island to find the answer for that. I've never been to Map Island. How do I get there? Oh, you get there from Workshop Island, from this place that you haven't actually accessed yet. Okay. How do I access it? With the lever that exists that I hit and I didn't know what it did. So this is the on state and that's the off state. Now, silly me, I thought that this was some sort of pulley or towing system that wasn't functioning. So, I was expecting to find a trigger to make this work, when in fact, this was a trigger for something else, and I just did not put that together. You can see it going over here, it's going around. It is a bit of a trip. But there we are. The fan is off. I guess I just was not being observant enough and putting those pieces together. So there we go. We can head on up in here now. And down. And we got ourselves a thingy. Ooh, time for stories again. Okay. 82 to 13. The latest ink formulation has proven a failure. Even when writing in my most promising books, I obtain only the barest glimmer of a connection. It is frustrating to expend so much effort creating a blank book, only to end up destroying it when it doesn't work. 
There are days when the lab is uncomfortably warm from the flames of these failed attempts. The further I refine each element, the formulations of the inks and papers, the physical dimensions of the books, the more I realize that the list of potential combinations is nearly infinite. It is during moments like these that I despair. Without access to Dunny, my long-term goals may never be accomplished. Nevertheless, there are avenues of research which remain to be explored. Now, who is doing this writing? It's a... Uh, looks to be a few months later. That this is year, month, day. I am discontinuing regular observations of the stars beneath the fissure. Although I've been able to track the dark cloud-like formations that migrate through the star field and have proven that their paths are cyclical, without proper instrumentation it is pointless to continue. My general theory concerning the nature of the fissure has remained unaltered since it first appeared. It seems that the fabric of this age has been breached in a way that permits matter to be hospitably exchanged between two discrete but overlapping spaces, much like a link, but the apparent physical contradictions surrounding this juncture defy logical reason. The great column of wind that was formed when the fissure first appeared suggests a vacuum as one might expect in space, Yet my early experimentations revealed the presence of a breathable atmosphere. That Atris and Catherine threw themselves into the void is further evidence that it might be safe to travel, but without knowing its true nature, I cannot take the risk myself. It is also difficult to say what would happen if I were to reopen it after so long, but it is likely that the results would be catastrophic, given the changes that have occurred in this age since that time. I'm going to say that this is Atris's father, Gen. Because who else would be writing things like this in Riven, right? Maintenance on the steam vent caps completed. I am extremely pleased with the continued success of this system. I believe the construction to have been true to the Dunny designs of my memory, another example of the superiority of the Dunny technology. It's ironic that Atris and Catherine unwittingly provided me with such a convenient source of power. Okay, yet yeah, we've been seeing these around, and now that confirms that it's steam power and not, like, gas or oil or whatever. As with many of my views over the years, my thoughts regarding the origin of the fissure have changed. I have recently begun to wonder whether it was actually an unexpected byproduct of the changes Catherine and Atris wrote into this age during their escape. Certainly, by casting their linking book into the void, they trapped me here quite effectively, but I do not believe that Atris, in th uh, Atris intended the book to be lost in this manner. Much better to destroy it than to risk the possibility of it falling into unknown hands. Also, had they foreseen the creation of the fissure, they would surely have thought that the vacuum it created would eventually consume the atmosphere of this planet, a fate which Catherine undoubtedly would have deemed unacceptable for her home world. Oh! Okay. That's okay. So he's talking about Riven. And... Catherine is from Riven. Catherine is currently... trapped... in Riven... 
it's all it's all Riven, right? This they are talking all about Riven. So that's interesting. And Riven, if I'm remembering right, if I understood correctly, is Gen's creation. That Gen wrote in the book to create Riven, which creates the people, including Catherine. Catherine marries Atris. He made his son a girlfriend. I guess. If I had not been there to supervise the construction of the seal, this is most certainly what would have happened, for the villagers were far too frightened to even approach the vortex without my urging. I hold on to the belief that it was an unintended consequence of their writing for another reason so well, as well. I prefer to think that my son had meant for this age to be merely a prison for me rather than a death sentence. Mm, what? Okay, no, I, I, yeah, okay. So Gen creates Riven, and in order to deal with the threat, Atris and Catherine rewrote the, the book, or wrote more into the book. They altered things to make it a prison for Gen. But those changes had other consequences. And we've been seeing Atris constantly updating and writing more to fend off catastrophe for as long as he can and I think that's what he's talking about here. Merely a prison rather than a death sentence. The construction of the imagers has proceeded without fault. It is interesting to see how easily I've been able to adapt the Dunny technology to mimic that of the Ahmad. It looks like A-M-A-D. Ahmad? We'll, we'll hopefully hear it at some point. In some ways, the similarities between the two cultures was striking. I wonder if perhaps there had been communication or commerce between the two cultures in earlier times. Maybe Kitas or Ketas people were even descendants of the Dunny. It pleases me to think so. We've seen this. So this is an imager that he was just talking about. Note, it's possible that if I were somehow able to supply the books with a power source of sufficient magnitude, I could suppress the variance enough to facilitate a solid link. It is doubtful that the geothermal cap generator could provide such an enormous surge, Perhaps I could adapt the fire marbles? Okay. I have been cataloging the natural elements of this age for nearly 30 years now, yet still I continue to find evidence of the Dunny's preoccupation with fire? Capital F? As a boy, it was very clear to me that the number... Oh, with five! The number five had a special significance to the Dunny society. From the ancient heraldic emblems of the ruling elite to the humble homes of the commoners, it was ubiquitous. Its presence here is obviously a direct reflection of the minds that designed the texts that I used to compose this age. Further proof that through this, that through their art, the Dunny masters were indeed creating the marvelous worlds they wrote 
and not, as many have mistakenly thought, merely building links to pre-existing worlds. While most of my constructions have been based on Dunny designs, I see now that the ones that I have imbued with the power of five are clearly the most beautiful, the most perfect, and, I believe, the most structurally sound. I am still attempting to determine how the Dunny color symbology reflects this superior design principle. Although superficially it is based on a six-color system, I am convinced that there has to be deeper connection to five. I will continue to investigate. I'm, I'm reading this right. This is five. That's a V. With five, the number five. But why is it lowercase here and uppercase here? Preoccupation with five and the number five. Is it two different concepts? Or is it just... Am I overthinking it? So this looks like those eye orbs that we saw that had the numbers connected to them when they rolled around. And three, four, five, six but no color was associated with that. Numbers were associated with them. See if that means anything moving forward. I've finally made a breakthrough. I've succeeded in modifying the five, the fire marbles. This is going to get confusing. The fire marbles to generate enough power to hold a descriptive linking book in a stable matrix. I have linked to a new world. It is a harsh and desolate age, but it nonetheless, but is nonetheless well suited for my purposes. And so I have designated it my. Hold on. Just hold on. Nine. Eight? Am I... Am I 98 RD? That's... That's not right. It would be TH, like 98th. But... No, that's definitely a 9. And that's definitely an 8. It's got the line through them. And we, we spent a long time putting all that together last time. Okay, the 98 erd By studying it clearly, I believe it will eventually be able to create a more appropriate age for me to resettle on. For now, I will build an office and set up my, li my living quarters there in order that I may conduct my experiments in safety and without distraction. So Gen found a way to create a linking book and and create a new age and may not even be here on Riven anymore. I must admit that I am proud of my work to think that in such primitive conditions I have accomplished in 29 years what it took the original Dunny centuries to achieve. Note, repair outerwear for work on this world. The goggles may need to be redesigned altogether. Okay. I have begun construction on a series of link sites for each island that will connect Riven with my new office on 98. This survey guild, the survey guild has finally completed the site location for each island according to my exact specifications and installation of the domes is underway at last. 
Yep. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me go back a moment. Work on the central power source got off to a bit of a bad start, I'm afraid. But the pace has picked up considerably since then, and I anticipate no further delays. I'm looking forward to finally having a civilized mode of transportation. This goes on... Oh my god, okay. Take a moment, and I'm gonna just compare real quick. This is the exact um, design that I've marked down it in my notepad, just rotated by one. Like everything is just turned by one, as if you were looking at it from a different perspective. Okay. I'm going to need more water after this, I'll tell you. Due to the Rebels' continued disturbances, I've decided to install a coded access system into all of the domes. We got numbers, baby. Let us break this down. So this is a code that's going to be at least for one dome, if not all of them. And that's going to be a two... Eight. The hell is that? What the hell? Wait, what the hell is what? These are new. I don't. Ha I don't have these. Uh. Okay. Let me write those down. There's similarities to things that I have previously made note of, but I, I just would have to think a bit on what the hell. <sighs> um... Because it's got to be higher numbers than 10, obviously. So it's like we're combining different elements here. Like this curve. And this. I mean, if this is a curve, or maybe what I had written down for 10 was not supposed to be as triangular, I don't know. But let's say this is 11. And let's say this is... I mean, I just, I'm just gonna pick something out of my... Let's say, like, this is 33. Or something like that, you know? And this would be like 24 because it has elements of the different numbers that I already have. I just, I can't confirm at what they actually are. Anyway, let's keep going. I caught one of my assistants looking over this journal today. I'm glad I've chosen to write it in a language they cannot decipher. Nope. Discuss security with each guild master. No problems expected from the maintainers, educators, and surveyors. Question the bookmakers and builders more clearly. Today, I had several more reports of spirit sightings by some of the villagers. It seems that under Catherine's leadership, the rebels on the black... Moyeti, as the villagers obstimate, obstimately insist on referring to them. I hope I'm saying that word correctly. Uh, okay. 
The rebels have attained a new level of sophistication in their terror tactics and have renewed their campaign to intimidate the villagers into joining them, playing upon their shared superstitions. The villagers are certainly susceptible to this form of coercion, especially given of late the rebels' increasing acts of vandalism and theft. So, Catherine's leading a resistance against Gen and the people that are working for him and the villagers that he's kind of maybe like revered as a god if going by those paintings on the in the Beatles if that was in fact Gen there's a certain worship to be had there the black moieti I we'll, we'll see moieti Uh, it's the name of the rebels. Spirit sightings. They are. They've developed in a way to, I guess, create things that seem like ghosts or spirit type things to make the villagers afraid. And okay, okay. The... Okay. That's... I have no idea. The... Etrum Traps? Have been steadily fruitful this year. Apparently, the breakup of the islands has not adversely affected the subterranean ecosystem. Unfortunately, I imagine the rebels are experiencing a similarly generous harvest. No shortage of poison for their darts this season. Such morbid issues aside, the sudden availability has allowed me to refine a particularly pleasant extract for my pipe. One that is smoother than any of the others from recent years. Chemical analysis of one of the rebel knives has yielded curious results. Its composition contains elements that are unlike anything I've encountered on the islands. It appears they have access to a resource of which I am unaware. Perhaps a mine on an uncharted island. And this is the dagger. Looks like he might have traced it. No, most of the knives have been found on the south side of the village. This is the same area in which there have been reports of people mysteriously disappearing. I think a closer inspection of the area is warranted. The fact that they have these distinctive knives as a, is a sign, as a sign of their presence concerns me. They're growing more bold and seem to no longer fear discovery of their hideout. The latest measurements indicate that the recent trend has continued. The movement of the islands has slowed tremendously. My precious... My previous estimates predicted a total collapse in approximately three months, but with the new figures, I am uncertain. I have nearly finished writing the 99th age and I have every faith that it will indeed be a safe place for us to relocate to yet it would be helpful to know what has caused the halt in this age's breakup it's Atris we know that is it possible that it's stable after all if so, I must discover how this age differs from my less successful attempts. My examinations of the 98 erd age have thus far proven inconclusive. It's really 
gaslighting me here into thinking that I got the wrong numbers here. I mean, it could, it would make sense that if you made a 98th age and then another age after that is 99, I mean, that, that adds up. That's the math. Or perhaps someone is repairing the damage to the fifth age. If so, it would almost certainly be Atrus's doing. Okay, you figured that one out. I have reluctantly decided to abandon my experiments into the behaviors of the water of this age, as there are many press as there are more pressing matters on which I must now concentrate, leaving me little time for such speculative research. For future reference, however, my investigations up to this point have revealed the following. I believe the remarkable properties of the water to be caused by a life form that resides in it, specifically a type of bacteria. I'm imagining a motile unicellular, unicellular organism, but one with structures capable of holding bits of water whose combined effect via surface tension, a stronger force, causes the composite body of water to move in response to heat. Prolonged exposure to extreme heat, for example, a period of extended boiling, seems to kill the bacteria, which would explain its dramatic aversion to heat sources. Unfortunately, these theories are still not fully tested and I remain ignorant both of its deeper nature and its possible uses. An exciting development. Last night, a squad of maintainers stumbled upon a lone rebel scout and obtained him, and it obtained from him a most incredible device. I'm really sorry about the reading here. I'm trying my best. It's a lot, and... It's all in cursive. Okay, most incredible device. It is a crystal that somehow powers these flawed linking books, much as my own system does, but with an obvious advantage. It is small and weighs only a few pounds, making it completely portable. And we saw crystals and learned about crystals in our bonus video missed, so that all checks out. Catherine must have fabricated the device before I captured her. Okay. That's new information for our timeline here. Obviously, with an explicit Dunny schematic, she must have brought with her to this age. If only I'd had access to such a document all these years. Regardless, I can now concentrate solely on the writing of ages, and need no longer worry about building elaborate power supplies for each new book I write. This is a sobering reminder, however, that I must continue to seek an avenue to Dunny. Regaining access to the resources there may be crucial to the completion of my mission. What is your mission, Gen? From reading all of this, like father, like son, there's definitely a certain style, a certain approach to things that feels familiar to all the writing that we'd seen from Atris, except Atris was more, well, was less clinical. Gen is writing more about things like research and studies, and Atris's writing was more about experiences. But they feel there, there's a style, there's an, uh, an approach to how they write about these things that definitely feels very connected. Close that book. One, two, three, four, five. The five. And inside, 
is the symbol for five. So now we know that. We're putting all that together. Uh, okay. This video is like half over now, and I did... A, this was probably the longest one of these that I've done so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty, twenty-two pages. Compare it to the other books that I've had to check out. There's your little smoky pipe. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Touch all the things until something does something. More reading! Oh. At least it's just one page. Last week, while monitoring the situation of the villagers from the scope in my survey room, I observed one of the natives swim out to a small object that appeared to be floating, but anchored near the entrance to the bay. I ordered the object removed from the water for inspection. Several days later, however, I was surprised to see another floating there. The missing object had apparently, and quite mysteriously, been replaced with a new one overnight. I've long been aware of the existence of similar artifacts on the villager's island, but have paid them little notice until now. Tomorrow I shall send surveyors to catalog the others. There's an eyeball orb thing again. Okay, it's got a three on it, which we know is a one. I will write that here, and we are in the workshop. I might make this video just a hair longer, depending on how much progress we are able to make. Just because of all of the reading. That's where we dropped in. Okay. Got a door, got a button, got a furnace, got another door. Got another thing over there. Got another thing over there. All right. What do we got here? Open that. And we got eggs. Wonderful collection of eggs you got there, buddy. That's, that's it. Just eggs. Okay. Time for a little science experiment. Or not. Just gonna look at all the things. Here's one of these bad boys again. Oh! 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 Hold on. Hold your horses. Okay. Okay. We're gonna run this back just real quick. Find that word. Here. So those are the traps. The one that I found on the other side of the fan vent and over there. They're traps for, like, an animal. And you're able to produce a poison from them. If this is an, all I see is like a Y T R A M, and it could be a made up thing. Could be something that I just don't know, but you got specimens of froggies here, and I don't think I see anything in those bottles. Moving on. Go across the way. Look at this. And 
look at this. And look at this, and look at this, and this, and this. Nothing is anything. Okay, a vice. Of all the things to interact with, I, and I don't think I'm going to find something to put into the vice and mess around with it, Okay. Check out this bad boy here in the center. Oh. The remnants of a linking book. Okay. As was described in the many, many words I just read, this is probably one of those failed attempts. And that's why it's in here. We can't seem to take it. You might think that a blank potential linking book would be useful. Am I? Okay, no, I know where I am. All right. <sighs> Just take the scenic route there. Okay, so this... It's just we've unlocked the door. But what is that? Don't know. And this takes us where? Looks like another ride. So that must be the call button for it. Okay. Okay. Hop on in. Turn this bad boy around and go to what I believe is Map Island. Now, this is not a monorail, because it's got two rails. I have to think of another word to describe these. Just, like, sky tram? Okay, we've got a door there. Got a Can I go out the other side? No. Huh. I do want to note that the last video I was stumped on how to get to a spot and my goal was to get to that spot. I didn't quite know how to look up a hint about that spot. So we have gotten very far away from that, but maybe we will 
eventually bring it all together and I won't have to look that up. This is yucky. This is a yucky place. Oh, no, it's... Is... Th this is Map Island. Is this the map? In the water? Or is it just a bunch of, like, algae? I think it might just be a bunch of gross algae. Yeah, it's yucky. I'm gonna go with yucky. Even if it's a map, it's a yucky map. These are not yucky, though. See? I get in. There, okay. I could not see that. I push the thing. Okay, so this apparently is related to the grid that I found. So let me see what I can draw up here. Top right corner is a little square, and then we break this up in half, so then we have a bigger square on the top left. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, hello there, Mr. Smart Brain, recognizing things. Those are all the exact same shapes associated with my diagram. I'm going to assume the little tiny island in the top right is going to have something happen. Yeah, okay. So these all correspond pretty well in in appearance. But I have to say I'm not at all understanding what how this like, this is the representation. We've got a grid-like pattern on everything. I, I don't quite see how this is going to correlate with the, the puzzle that I'm trying to sort out. Because I'm supposed to be looking for some colors... And if it's a grid, I'm not sure I'm seeing it really marking where on the grid I would be putting a marble. Something is not... coming together here.
I also... Oh, can go over here. All right. That goes off. And... Okay. Take a look. See around this way. See what these are. Oh. Okay. I don't know if I had to click that a whole bunch of times or if I was just being impatient. But we seem to have turned off the power and revealed a dome over there. That is a thing... We just have no way to get to the thing. Oh, boy. Okay. So obviously we don't have any information for solving that. I'm or do we? We might actually one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Denominations of five. Five of these. We may have something that corresponds with that. I guess the only thing to do now is go back to that puzzle and see what that gets me. Okay, we're back here and I can see the little outlines that were being referenced now, I have one, two, three, four, five spaces and one, two, three, four, five, six colors, but I do not understand how that all works. For now, let's just put colors into each one of these, like so. And now we will go back to Map Island and see what that does for us, okay? I don't think I see anything that would have changed for this. Let's leave one of them pressed, and let's go back now. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Didn't think about this.
I can only have one of them going at any time. You know what I just realized? Now I can get off on this side. Look at that. That's something, right? Maybe I'll find answers here then. Before we run back. Lowering. We're lowering a lot. And yet something has come up. All that for an outhouse, huh? Just trying to look around before we go, potty. Alright. Uh, potty time, and then we flush. I was worried that I had looked at too much of the hints on the universal hint system there, and that I was just pointing myself to the solution. And I'm glad that was not the case, but I just feel like I'm getting further away from everything, you know what I mean? Like, we, we got to the thing with the buttons and the grid that matches the grid at the dome. Couldn't figure that out. Now, I'm... There's this. And I thought maybe this would be the other thing. The, the, the missing piece of the puzzle. This does not feel like the missing piece of the puzzle. This just feels... Um... Okay, I don't like when there's somebody just standing there. Games aren't supposed to be spooky. So I say going into a very... <laughs> ominous room here with a big throne and oh my goodness oh is this gonna be another cage deal we no it's not what the hell Oh, for crying out loud.
Would I be right that this is viewing the inside of the workshop? Oh, God. <sighs> I don't like this game anymore. I d uh. Oh, for Christ's sake. <sighs> okay, I thought this might be the inside of the workshop because I thought this was the furnace and this might be one of the benches and then there's a, the... <sighs> Is that going to happen again? Um, uh, okay, it's just a person. might even be Catherine. It looks like a female. Feminine. Woman. One of these times I'm doing this, they're just gonna go like, boom, jump right up into my face, and I'm gonna hate it. We might have seen all there is to see from that. And this, I just, I can't see anything. Oh, 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 now this does a thing. Oh, okay. Okay. I know where this is. This is in the middle of that water from last episode. So this should rotate too, except it doesn't. All right. I put that back up. Put this one down. We got... Oh, these are marked. Oh no, was I supposed to be keeping track of, like, the different eye things? that. Oh, it's okay. Why it has tusks, I don't know. Why they're on the sides, I don't know, but it's fine. I'm this is I'm okay with this. We turn that light on, and I, there we go. I can only have one light on. Oh. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Blue. Green. Yellow, okay. Orange, blue, green, yellow, orange. Hold on. Okay. 
and red. Big Yor. Oh, he came back. So... That one's... Wait, up. Uh, um... What? Oh, oh, I get ya. I get ya. It doesn't just... It turns to the one I clicked to. Okay. So let me just go through again. This is... And that's this shape is yellow. Orange is... And then that's red. We don't need to see our friend again. And then that one's blue. Okay. So we have that. Starting to feel like we're getting back on track here. Because now we have five colors. We also have five symbols. Oh, I do want to check one thing, actually, before we totally piece out of this. Turn that on. And now if I... Okay, it does turn off. That's what I wanted to check. No, wait. There we go. So yeah, how about that universal hint system? Like I said, I was worried that I was just directing myself to the answer. And I didn't. I directed myself to a direction. I was guided to check something out. And from that, we we didn't just come across the answer. We just We've found lots of neat stuff to explore. Okay, this one won't let me get to the other side. Where is this going to take us? Yeah, this it's why I like the universal hint system is because I we we had a nice extra long episode today because I didn't just go and get the answer. I'm still not near the answer. I don't know even where the hell I am now. But we have gone on a journey... To say the least. I'm just checking that there wasn't anything over there. Okay. Looks like this has a middle and an up.
Okay, that's not ominous at all. Oh, 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 I know, I know where I am. Ooh, shortcut. Okay, let's, let's go up further and see what we get there. I don't think we'll go too much longer because I don't want this to be like a two hour long episode or anything like that. I just wanted to do a little bit more because I felt like we spent so much time reading. matter how many times I click it, nothing is changing, and I tried holding down. That is a familiar sight. Okay, I'm trying to... Is there one that looks like it's... There it is. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, one looks a little more yellow. So this is where we came up. We go this way and we come to there. Was there another thing over this way, though? Because I did get a little turned around. No, this is just... okay. So keep on going. Okay, person in a watchtower. There's a thing down, too. All right, then. Everybody can watch me poop. Okay. Oh, we're even... Oh! Okay. We closed that. This is where I thought I needed to get to. Maybe I actually get there from down there and pull myself up and get over here. Is that a possibility? Hey, remember when I said that I got so far away from my original intention of the, the puzzle I wanted to solve? But 
maybe it'll all wrap back around and connect. How's about that, huh? Oh God, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Fucking... Don't... You... <sighs> Should know better than to put a creepy child... Oh, Christ. This is empty again. Now, I don't think these designs were different. I will have to go back and check. But I will try to make a note of this. By just using the... I'm not going to draw this. I'm just going to use the power of video. I will reflect on this in editing. Now this is what I was thinking about. When we got to that book and the, the lock for it. No, this is not going to help us figure out how to use that. This isn't here. Where did I park my sub? It's over here. Did I over... Yeah. Boy, this is actually a really big place once you uh, kind of start doing a lot of traveling. I can see why there's the shortcuts. Kind of wish there was more. Okay, I don't remember where I am. My map is useless. So bear with me for a moment. Okay, so this is... Okay. I know this. I'm pretty sure. And then we go here. Ah, all right. The map actually kind of worked. All right. So that's going to lower a thing. And now can I grab it? Because there's ground for me to reach. How about that? Okay. So that is really, really funny. End of the last episode. I want to figure out how to deal with this section. Start of this episode. I didn't know what to look up for that, so I picked a random thing. I'm worried I might have just spoiled an answer for myself by looking at too many hints. I'm nowhere near solving anything. I am just more confused. Oh, we got to where I wanted to get to. Oh, I, I do not handle the live action people very well. I'm sorry. I'm so used to the isolated experience. 
of like just there nobody being around maybe they're like peeking at me from the distance but when you just you just click and then bam it's like in your face okay i feel like you could fit through this if this is a prison it's not a good one Okay. I'm just looking at these, trying to see if they... Because I saw tusks. I was trying to see if those might have been like those fish. Well. <gasps> you went down the potty. Oh. Okay, we're we're not going to do that right now. <laughs> going to see what else there is to look at up here cuz it was important to me. I think Ah, <laughs> shortcut. Okay, yeah, feels good. So this is probably a great spot to call it here. I, I really, this game is quite something, and I that's. Very vague, I know, but I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued by everything that's been going on here. And sometimes you're just, at least I'm just, overwhelmed by how much exploration can happen. Like, I went on a freaking journey in this episode with just so much and I'm going to have to go back there because I know there's stuff I missed I know that the key to this other puzzle is related to that island I didn't get the solution I think I started on the path for that solution and then just ended up here this is not the solution. But we're here. And we've got a little secret passage that we will check out next time. Uh, thank you. Hopefully this wasn't... I, I hope I didn't overstay my welcome. I know that I'm already pushing it as it is with hour-long episodes. But I just really wanted to offer up a little bit more because I felt like I did so much reading and had no idea where things were going to go from there. So they won't all be like this. This is hopefully going to be the only one for this game. That'll be this long, but we'll see what happens. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.